Well, hello, my friends. Welcome once again to Crunchwell's Kitchen. And if this is your very first time stopping by, I say a very warm welcome to you. So today I am sharing with you a very simple and quick plantain cake recipe. This is Ghanaian, a can of basically, I think it is mostly a can and it is called Ofam. It is a spicy plantain cake and it is very, very good. You will love it. So first off, I have washed my plantains because, you know, they can be very dirty and especially when it's this soft, it picks up uh, a lot of dirt. So I have washed them and I am peeling them. You want your plantains to be at least this overripe or even more. And it is five of them in total. And I am using my potato masher because uh, this is a contemporary cooking. Ideally, you use your earthenware pot. But to me, this is faster and easier. So I am using my potato masher. You could use your asanka and you will still yield the same results. So I am mashing it and I'm going to try to leave in a few lumps because that makes it even more delicious. You want to have some texture in your offam if you can help it. So this is good now. And I have bl blended my onion, ginger, and peppers. And I use my food processor because I didn't want it to be so fine. I want to have some texture and color in it. I've added my salt, my flour, and I'm going to use my spatula to mix this now so everything is you know well incorporated and i have a smooth mix and at this point i will be adding my palm oil This is a very good cake. My mom used to make it all the time. And amazingly, my mother-in-law makes it all the time. My husband loves it. So every time we went to visit, she would have some of it baked for him. So this is a very good cake. He's loved it from his childhood and he still loves it now. And I do too. You could add some granite into this batter right now before you bake. Some people put eggs in it and it is good. But for today, we are making it plain. So this makes, I uh, sprayed my baking pan. I'm using a 9 by 5 loaf pan. And it is able to, um, it was able to take all my batter. And so now I have preheated my oven to 360 degrees. And I'm going to bake this. I bake this for a total of one hour. And after the hour, I also, you know, I have pre previously inserted a toothpick inside in the middle and known that this is perfectly cooked. So not just the hour, but you would probably need to test the middle to see that the skewer you put in comes out or the toothpick comes out clean. And at that point, you will know your offam is baked. Just look at how beautiful it is. The oil is not too much. You don't want to be, you know, we're trying to be healthy, which is hard. So I put in just enough oil to bring out the color and flavor. And that was about it. And this farm looks beautiful. It smells good. And we love it. So we can't wait to cut it up and see how good it, it is. And yes, I just <laughs> got my knife sliced into it. It is moist just like we like it. It is perfectly cooked, steaming hot. And we have some granites on the side. I like my offam with some roasted granites. And look at that. You see why I left my um, peppers chunky so that when you cut through, you can see some color in it. Yes, because you know it by now. I love color in my food why don't you give this a try it is simple quick and so good and until i come your way next time with something delicious be loving be kind be happy